Welcome to SJW Central 2. Today we have a great video for you guys and we're going to watch it in just a second. But before we do, make sure to drop a like on this video. It helps both the channel and the video to get to new viewers. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of the future videos. You are a domestic terrorist group and we will see to it that you fall and you fall so hard Yo, you please. ain't know what hit you. Check your fucking privilege and get back over there. No! Whoa! No! Bro. Yo, Just yo! Who are you talking to? Huh? You got something to say, little boy? You got something to say, little boy? No, you don't, do you? No, just Why don't you? There. No, I'll stand wherever I, I think want. You guys you can stand wherever you want. Very bad. Yeah, what do you know? No, no, no. Why don't you know my ass? You're sorry. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from NYC. Where the fuck are you? Well, you know what? I can walk wherever I want. I can walk wherever I want. Yeah, but she's like an eight year old woman. You're like, watch your mouth, bro. You watch your mouth. Step back. You say, look, you don't go chest to chest with a woman. You go chest to chest with a woman, tough guy? Chest to chest, chest with a woman! No fear. With no history whatsoever. What do you Learn mean? your history. If you knew your history, you wouldn't be around. You go to American University? Yeah, look at that. That's, Bro, that's horrible. America was founded on stolen land, you bigot. This kid's a bigot. He goes to a bigot university. They got a lot of nerve when there's a lot of people. Why don't you step inside there? Why don't you stop? You didn't know what to say to me. Yeah, that's true. You're right. You didn't know what to didn't say. What I'm say. so sorry. You're right. Here, I don't know what to say. You're bigots. You don't understand the Constitution. Is that the best you got, Dolly? All men are created Is that the best you got, baby boy? Is that the best you got? Is that the best you got? You tell him, you tell him. Go back to school. That's what you're doing. Don't let the world come on. That's it. Why doesn't he say something? Because you people are intimidated. Oh, I'm intimidated. He crossed the street. Did you see him cross the street? Yes, yes. But you know what I mean. It's Are you dead? I'm not going to pretend like there was any substance to that quote-unquote debate. There's really not much to go about in terms of that. This video is more about the visuals that tell everything rather than what they are actually saying. You have a little Antifa boy who legitimately looks like he is 14, if I'm to be charitable, telling grandma to check her privilege. I honestly thought that check your privilege became a dead meme that the left doesn't even use anymore because it has been ridiculed so much but it's still here apparently. This guy is not 14 but actually a college student as you might be able to tell by his American University t-shirt and again it wasn't owned by facts and logic but whether it was just about him being schooled by Grammy. It's really hard to win in this situation and the fact that he tried to bully her chest to chest didn't help him at all. It's terrible optics. I think the guy who's actually pointing it out and talking smack to him all the while is actually barely informed with the lad who's a YouTuber who usually covers those type of protests. Grandma is actually right because those guys you see on the other side of the protests are young lefties who usually don't go out and vote but rather protest every time they are bored. Every election cycle they do exactly the same thing. They keep chanting on about revolution but never stand in line to vote because they are so lazy. Those protests are actually performative acts for them so they can virtue signals to their other bodies on how woke they are while doing nothing of substance to actually change anything. The funniest thing about this clip is when the guy tells Granny to check her privilege and gets in her face only to be stopped by a black man who I assume is conservative. Then the shot pans out to see all the BLM protesters being Marxist white kids who have co-opted this movement for their agendas. Like I said, this clip is bad optics for those guys and we definitely need more fierce grandmas like this one to come and just verbally abuse those protesters. They're obviously not interested in a conversation. You can see the guy calling her a bigot right away for no apparent reason. And then he just clams up when he runs out of lefty buzzwords like check your privilege. I assume there's more to this video but I can't find it sadly. It's probably going to be on a lad's channel in the next few days. So you should probably go to his channel and you will have more context and more content. Do you think that the talking is over at this point? 
Should we just laugh and ridicule those extremists, or do you think it will result in a backlash that will galvanize them like it did for Trump supporters in 2016? Leave your opinions in the comments down below, and on your way down there, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next video on it. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.